Hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much for the last panel. I think it was really inspirational. I mean, one of the joys of doing this joint work with UN Habitat and IAI and Glocha is the bringing together of arts and the UN system, as we heard. Um, we were, during one of the Digital Art for Climate projects, we had some young people in the informal settlements of, of Nairobi in Mathari, and they did an amazing mural, and they won an award. And that's kind of the exciting thing, is to see how it's those who are most marginalized, those who really don't often have a voice, and what we heard here, what was presented here, was that amazing coming together of the UN and the arts. It can happen, I know it's challenging, and I hear that many, many times, but um, I think it's really great. Well, one of the things we wanted to do is kind of, unfortunately, due to some technical stuff, we needed to, wanted to revisit some of the um, presentations we had before, um, principally because they're really important. As you'll note in the, the title of the program, we talk about localization. And one of the programs you inhabit has under, uh, undertaking, again, with partner cities around the world that we're working at around nine cities right now in nine different countries, is a concept called Youth 2030 City, which is actually on the screen. I'm so excited. <laughs> so next uh, slide. This is Joyati Das. Joyati Das is leading the reboot of, youth, uh, not the reboot, the continued uh, program phase two of Youth 2030 Cities, which started initially um, during the pandemic, actually, two years ago, two, three years ago. And now we're moving into a full program model. So we'll listen to Joyati. Then I'll very rapidly go through the PowerPoint in five minutes. Good morning, everyone. It is a privilege and honor to be able to share my reflections with you all today via this session that is considering youth and localization of SDGs, along with Deg Reagan, I'm Jaya Srinivasan. I'm leading the second phase of the action, learning and research tasks for Youth 2030 Cities Project, a UN Habitat initiative. Youth 2030 Cities is designed as an urban governance program that promotes citizen voice and action through advocacy and meaningful participation of young people to contribute to local and global discourses. The aim is to empower young people with tools and create spaces that translates their narratives into realistic actions, action plans to achieve sustainable cities. The aim is to empower young people and enable young people with knowledge to understand global issues and agendas and progress the localization of SDGs in their communities and in their local neighborhoods and cities. As a team, we have been consolidating the learnings of the past two years of activities across several cities, positioning youth as valued participants in mobilizing action for localization of SDGs. Already, the ground level efforts have resulted in eight city declarations developed with and by young people. First time in 2018, the UN launched a youth strategy recognizing this demographic dividend and calling for their meaningful participation in shaping local and global agendas. Last April, the Pact for the Future draft recognized that young people today and in the future will have to live with the consequences of our actions and inaction. The draft document reaffirms the importance of involving youth and youth-led, youth-focused organizations meaningfully in the work of the United Nations. UN Habitat recognizes this affirmation as an opportunity to be a part of a global call for action, to position and progress youth ambitions for a sustainable and global peaceful planet. Youth 2030 Cities Initiative presents a clear action plan to facilitate youth-led movements to mobilize practical action for localization of SDGs. The imperative of the inclusion agenda needs to be central to this summit of the future. And young people regarded as equal partners in designing a future, a future beyond 2030. Enjoy the session. Thank you.